Yeah, we're on. <laughs> Morning. I'm back. Twenty-five past seven. We're all about half six. It's getting uh, dark. Looks like I'm the only one on here. I don't see anybody else about. I was hoping to get my potato order in this morning, but. Anyway. Looks like it's got a bit crap there where there was today. Picked these up last week. Uh, red onions. Snowball onions. Some sanitary. More garlic for stay. We've got some of this pink germ at all. I only want it's probably one and a half cloves after that, so Steve can have the other one and a half. Oh, another pink germ at all, fill end of that bed in there. We've got all garlic in there then. Now, I was gonna grow these from seed, but I don't know if you could see them in this light. There are carrots. Three trays of them. And a tray of cabbage. I was loath to buy them, but it was just in a cheap bit in the garden centre and it was £1.60 for the four. 40 p each. Is it? Yeah, yeah, 40 p each, so I couldn't say no. Just a bunch of plants. They'll be going straight in that bed today, hopefully. Get these onions in if we can as well, but the weather's not looking so good. The onions are going in. In three beds there. Uh, the spuds are going in there. I have had an idea. Well, I got it off YouTube off somebody from America. He built a potato tower, so what I'm going to do with them in the other tunnel over there. Got two of these palette colours. So I'm going to plant my spuds in them in there next year. And then instead of lifting them up, I'm going to add one of these every time, fill it with earth. And I'll just fill all that with potato plants and then. I'll do it three or four times, get it up to there, and then we'll see how many spuds we get out of that. And that's my experiment for next year. Potato towers, two of them, two of them, sorry. Still half asleep. I won't walk up there and make a brew, but yeah, there was a bargain then. Couldn't say no, £1.64. Them carrots were well on. The weight of these, anyway. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Good. Right, brew time. Rain started. Not stopping me though. Right, this. I'm not going to split these because I've got them so late. They've got little carrots on. In the carrot tops, so I don't want to disturb the roots, so I'm going to plant them as bunches. So, this is the same shape as them to be loop. I'm going to make me holes with these because it's nice and soft. This so it's four foot long, so I'll put them every four inches and I'll just press that down. And then pop my carrots in it. Easy to press down there you go. There you go, nice and easy. There's one on. Get my little bunch of carrots. And drop them in. And them roots are not disturbed now. Hopefully they'll take off. So I'll pop all them in. 
three rows of them. The spread should be full then. We'll get them in then. Yeah, so basically this is how I'm doing it. Put my tape measure on top. I'm making my holes to be four inch. So one, four, eight, Well, just pushing that indentation in, and then the plants will go straight in it. Eight at the end there. The perfect hole then for them to go in. I'll stop looking now. I'll stop talking now and crack on. That's a lot of lead. Three bunny rolls. Carrots, lots of water back now, I'll just give me a good drink. Because we did up more to that compost, and it was a lot, it was dry underneath. So it was out of hanging baskets and that. So give me a good drink and uh, I'll have to let her take off in there. See how that mixture works. There you go. Next job, I'll get some of that garlic in. When I did that other day, I didn't, uh, I don't want to teach your granny how to suck eggs like that, but I didn't show you how I did it. It's dead easy. What I do is uh, I can find my pauper. Got a dibber somewhere. I'll show you in a minute. Give me two minutes. What's that dibber then? There you go, dibber. And all I do with garlic is poke it in about an inch and a half. And that's enough for that. I'm going to do some of the onions, but I'll show you how to do them different. Leave them poking out a bit. See if I can get some in. I'll do this garlic in a minute. Let me separate some. Right, so to one and a half bulbs, that pink germidor. I've got 12 cloves. I'm going to just fill that end of that bed up now. So I'll get them over there and then I'll bring you over. So, a little lump of wood here, keep it a bit straightish. Four rolls in a bit on the bottom, that's where the roots will come out. A pointy bit on the top where the stalk will grow and just shove them in. Try not to snap that like I did then. That way up. That's far enough down. That's all I did, that's all I did with them of us last week. Move along. Not a gist. Oh, I'll get them. Right, so that's weed free. Just worked out about 60 onions in there. So I'll do six across, 10 rows. That should fill this bed with them. Same as you use Japanese ones. I'm not going to use that dibber. I'm just going to use my finger because it's nice and soft anyway. So I just want to get these. <laughs> Like, put one there, so we'll just stick our finger in, see, nice and soft. Let's get that so that little bit is just showing above the soil. And that'll do us then. Put six across the ten rows. See you in a bit. Stop again. 
Well, just now he's got them all in. You see, they're just poking through the reds. And what they do then, they get a good root start now. They probably won't put much top growth on till next year, but the roots will be growing now. So that's one done. Two more to do. I don't know if we've got them done today because this. Uh, So that I'll bang them in. Make sure I got on. It's stuck here all day now, I'll never get out of this. Got about one and a half rows on this small bell on here. And the oven's open. You'll be telling you, eh? A long summer. Mm, a bit of bright sky, I'm out there, get home in a bit. I think we'll wash out these onions today, we'll try them again tomorrow. Got one bed in anyway. No carrots. Loads of carrot tops on there, don't The carrot tops. These ones are still doing okay. Some of the carrots are doing okay with our onions. Oh, we've got enough of that. It's a washout. Still out here. Girls going in there. Freak weather or what? Look at that bed there, that's how much rain it's just put out. Swimming. I'm good that there, look at what they're coming back up. Not plenty of onions, I know they will not start. Not be stuck in here all winter. I think the worst place would be. I think the melons have had it. Plants there, though. Oh, just uh, put it out there. The big onions grow. Look at the heat that grow until that's so long. Jeep was not be a big size. Got the stone roll. It smells here. Just about in here. Oh, I can see a red pepper there. That's a mystery. to winter. Mm -hmm. Look at like, these uh, spring cabbage in this week too. Mm -hmm. Bummer plants. Mm -hmm. And the kind of squares in the bird run.
<laughs> I'm not even drop the jacket. I really like to go to sunshine and then I can. <laughs> Been in the car but it's parked across the road so I can't think make a dash for that. Unbelievable this way. Never let up for about a month. He's sodden. All the water bottles are full, anyway. Even the one in there, Luke. I'm gonna fix that leak this, so uh, we're we'll gonna break in this weather. Anyway, I've only got about three buckets in there. I'm going to finish them on the instrument. Yeah. So, I'll wash it out today. Yeah, I'll put it on the end of this today. Yeah. Let's start with this, just keep going again. Sixteen foot tall now. Huh? Feel nice and soft. Like three kernels and love a big cog. Right. Twelve inch long but three kernels on it. Lost with that. Things on shelves with that last week. And there's he's got plenty of space in here now. The water. Comes all the way along now. The bottom shelf at the middle. Some of the loads are in. I think we're going to go home before the shell starts again. Because it could be a long one this time. Sweet corn out tomorrow, get a chance. Clean up every time I see him now. Neat. Adios. I'm a damp old Matt Davis. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs>